everyone. It's Miss Mary from Skokie Public Library, back with another Rise and Shine story time. And as you know, when we do Rise and Shine story time, we always try to give you a chance to guess what is in our magic box. Here's the box. And inside the box is what we are going to be reading about today. But the box today is not giving us very many clues because it's really quiet. Listen to this. Not much going on in there. So do you think you can guess what might be in here? It's quiet, it's light. It certainly isn't very heavy or um, bulky and it's certainly not an animal. What do you think? What could it be? Should we find out? Okay. Let's see. Oh, look what we have here. It looks like a piece of rolled up paper. But I bet there's something on the other side of this paper. Should we take a look? Yep, let's see. I'm gonna open it up. Oh, this is very interesting. Look, this is a design for a new house. It's called a blueprint. And it is the map for the people who will be making the house so they know exactly how to make it. It's made by someone called an architect. And an architect is a designer of a building or a house. And the architect decides how big the building will be, what it will look like, how many rooms it will have, how tall. And they put all this into these plans called blueprints. And you can see that this blueprint looks as though you're looking right at the house. So you can see the outside of the house, the roof and the windows, the doors. And the architect has given the people who will be building the house lots of measurements about how big to make the windows and the doors and the roof. This is called an elevation. I think it's really interesting, don't you? That that's how houses start. Now there's another blueprint in here too. So let's look at this one. Here it is. Let's uh, untie it here. This blueprint is called a floor plan. And this is a map for the inside of the house, where all the rooms will be, where the doors will be, where the walls on the inside of the house will be. And if you look closely, you can see that this looks very much like a kitchen. Here's a table. This looks like a stove and a sink. And then this looks like a bedroom up here. And this looks like a living room. And I would bet this is the front door right there. So these blueprints give builders an idea of exactly how to go about building a house. And we're gonna read about that today. We're gonna to find out how the house or apartment or building that you live in actually got built. This is one of my favorite books. It's by Byron Barton, and it is called Building a House. I'm reading it today with the permission of Green Willow Books. Building a House. And you can see that these workers, these are carpenters, and they are working on the roof of a house in this picture. Building a House. Oh, and look. Right on the first page, we have a blueprint.
on a green hill. Now you can see that this hill is completely empty right now, but there are some construction vehicles coming. A machine digs a big hole. Now this hole is going to be the foundation of the house. And you will notice that it's really a basement of a house, but it gives the house a lot of structure and a very firm base and keeps it from falling over. So that's what they're doing right now. And the machine is of course an excavator or a digger. See back here, that's a dump truck. And I'm sure you know that the dirt from this hole is going to be put in the dump truck and the dump truck will haul it away. So let's find out what happens to the hole after the digger has dug it all up. Oh, builders hammer and saw. So these builders are working on the foundation and they are making a mold so that they can pour cement into this mold and make the foundation really, really strong. So I bet we're gonna see a cement mixer on the next page. Let's see, yes. There's the cement mixer, pouring all the cement into the mold. And this is gonna be the walls of the foundation. A cement mixer pours cement And then bricklayers come in. Sometimes they're called masons. Bricklayers lay large white blocks in the foundation to make its walls. Your basement is the foundation to your house or your building. And they're also going to put a special coat, waterproof coat on the outside of these walls to keep the basement really dry. Carpenters come in and make a wooden floor. This is the ceiling of your basement, but it's the floor of your house. The first floor. The carpenters aren't done yet though. They put up walls. There go the walls. This is called framing the house. You can see that first they put up boards that will kind of support the walls and then they're gonna put boards over the walls. And all the time these workers are looking at the architect's plans, the blueprint, to make sure that they're following its directions. Carpenters are also going to put up some steel rods for the outside of these walls to keep them really strong. So if there's bad weather like wind or rain, the walls will stay sturdy. They build a roof. Once they've got the walls up, they can get up there and start building the roof. And this picture of carpenters shows them framing the roof. Then they're going to add sheets of plywood, big long sheets of plywood to the frames, and they're going to put shingles, which are waterproof tiles on top of the roof to keep it dry. Now, when they're all done with the outside of the house, the carpenters will put something called a wrap right around it, kind of like wrapping paper, but it's really strong and it keeps all the wind and the rain out of the house. Here's a mason again, a bricklayer. He's gonna build a fireplace for the house. 
and a chimney too. And those of course have to be made out of stone because if they were made out of wood, it would catch fire. Let's see what else. Plumber, inside the house, the carpenters frame the inside walls and a plumber puts in pipes for water. That'll take water into your house and also out of your house. An electrician wires for electric lights. And you know, inside your walls are all the pipes and all the wires that run your house. And then the carpenters will come back when all the pipes are in and all the electrical wires are in, and they'll make sure they're all covered with something called drywall, which is wall material, so that you won't see the wires and the pipes. Now the carpenters put in windows and doors. You can see in this last picture, there was a hole where the window would go, but no window yet. So here come the windows and doors. They're gonna fit them right into those holes. Now we have the painters. They're gonna come and paint the inside and the outside of the house. And the workers leave, they're all done. Packing up their ladders and their paint and their tools. And the house is built. Isn't that amazing? It was just a green hill, now it's a house. And here comes the family to move inside. The end. I think it is so interesting the way a house gets built. And you know, there are so many people that have to be involved. There have to be um, plumbers and painters and carpenters and all kinds of workers, cement pourers and designers and just many, many people that work together to make your house. Well, now, before we go, uh, I'd like to sing a little song with you about construction of a house. And it's, a, it's kind of a recap of what we've just learned. So let's do it together, okay? It goes like this. First thing is gonna be digging the hole, right? This is the way we dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. This is the way we dig a hole to build a brand new house. This is the way we pour cement, pour cement, pour cement. This is the way we pour cement to build a brand new house. This is the way we lay the bricks, lay the bricks, lay the bricks. This is the way we lay the bricks to build a brand new house. This is the way we saw the wood, saw the wood, saw the wood. This is the way we saw the wood to build a brand new house. This is the way we hammer the nails, hammer the nails, hammer the nails. This is the way we hammer the nails to build a brand new house. This is the way we stir the paint, stir the paint, stir the paint. This is the way we stir the paint to build a brand new house. And you can think of more things that you do too, the plumbers, the electricians, all kinds of things that have to happen to make a house into a house. So it might be kind of fun to do a little floor plan yourself, you know? Here's our floor plan again. You could take a pencil and a paper and just design your own house, see what it will look like. 
Well, I will see you again soon, and we will do more songs and stories together. And in the meantime, I hope you see some construction crews out in your neighborhood, because it's really fun to watch them, see the miracle that they do every day when they turn an empty lot into a beautiful house. I'll see you next time. And until then, bye.